hi my soy lovers welcome to my channel my name is johanna if this is your first time clicking in thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much yeah we do everything fashion talks sewing tutorials if you're a fashion lover if you're a soy lover yeah is the right place for you so today guys i'll be doing a tutorial on how to drop a paneled mermaid skirt so i'll be doing a six paneled mermaid skirt so i'll be starting from the basic block and I'll be manipulating it to a panel mermaid skirt. It's very easy guys, you need to try this method. And I'll also be using the slash and spread technique. So the slash and spread technique is when you spread your pattern and slash it to give volume to your pattern. Guys, this technique is so easy, you need to try it. And if it's something you like to learn guys, and I know you want to learn it and add it to your sewing journey, please keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get to it. So guys, the first thing I did was to draw a perpendicular line. So I'll be starting on my horizontal measurement from two inches because the two inches is going to be my waistband depth. So I'll be taking my horizontal measurement and my first measurement is going to be waist to hip, which is 8.5 inches. So it's where my skirt is going to sit on my waist to the fullest part of your hip. Next, your waist to on top of your knee. So you have to measure your waist to on top of your knee because it will help you to walk freely on when you wear your skirt. Then you can connect all those dots with a straight ruler. Next, I would mark my waist to length, which is going to be 47 inch. Then I named all those lines, which is my waistline, hip line, knee line, and the full length. Then I went to my waistline and marked my waist measurement divided by 4, which is 8.5. And I also marked 1 inch for my dart intake. Then on the hip line, I measured 10.5. It was supposed to be 11, but I subtracted 0.5 because I don't want those excess at the front. So I'll add the 0.5 at the back pattern. So on my knee line, I will be using 9 inch. So I deducted. 1.5 from my hip measurement Exactly So because my hip divided by 4 was 10.5 So my knee will be 9 if you understand me guys Then also what I marked on my knee I also marked on my full length line So this is a basic skirt so you can use this pattern for a basic skirt for a long basic skirt or a short basic skirt and you're good to go so on my waistline i'll mark my nipple to nipple measurement or you can also mark the half of your waist so i mark four inch then i created a dart of 4.5 inch long then i also use 0.5 on each side then I connected it to that 4.5 inches. So that is my dart. So on the knee line, I also marked 4.5. And I connected it to that dart from the waist. To divide the front skirt into two because we are creating a six panel skirt so now we have two and one so we have one on four that is the center front and the side front we have two so I'll be cutting this skirt into 
but please watch the way I cut the dot. So let's start with the center front. So the first thing I'll be doing is to divide my knee line by two. So guys, if you have any question, please leave it on the comment section. I'll be ready to answer you. Thank you and enjoy watching. Then I'll draw a straight line to divide that panel. Then I'll name it one and two. Then I'll cut through that line and I'll also cut through that second line. But please don't cut it to the end. You just cut it like 0.5 cm to the end so that you can be able to spread it. So for the center front as the first panel, you make it straight. But for the other panel as the second panel, you spread it as much as you want. This part technique is called the slash and spread technique it is used to add volume to your patterns you can add as much volume with this technique make sure you measure your knee to your length on this pattern so you can have a perfect perfect length because when you slash it, it can go longer or go shorter. So make sure you, you measure it. So I measure 27 inch, inches from my knee to length because from my waist to knee is 20 and my full length is 47. And I will be using my um, cello tape to secure my pattern so that it stays in place. So next for the side front, I'll be doing the same as I did for the center front. I'll divide my knee by two and draw a straight line to the length. Then I'll cut through that line. But this time guys, we're going to do something different. We're going to cut through that line the both of them exactly so we're gonna spread the both of them so none of them would be straight the both of them would be spread so I would spread this pattern by seven inches So I drew the straight line, which is going to be my center, so that it can guide me while spreading this, so that I know that, oh, from here to here is seven inch, then from here to here is seven inch, which would give me a correct spread. Because if you don't have a middle or a center, then you don't know how much you spread it. So make sure you just tape it. I used a lot of tape and a lot of pattern paper for this. So another thing you can do is to spread it on your fabric if you don't have a lot of pattern paper. But because of it's a tutorial, I had to spread it on the pattern paper. Then next, I, I had to measure 27, then connect it to the other 27 on the left side and on the right side of the spread. Then I also taped more because I wanted to secure it. Then now it's time to cut, 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 cut. Guys, it's better to have a lot of flay than have less flay because you can also cut it off if your client said, oh no, it's too much. But if your client says, oh no, um, it's uh, this is not what I want, I want more, then it's a problem. So it's better to have more than have less. That's what I rec recommend. So yeah. So 
so we are done with the two fronts so that is where we are going to join it together exactly and that is it for the front so let's start with the back pattern placing my tape measure on two inches that is on the waist i would mark waist to hip which is 8.5 waist to knee which is 20 inches and i would mark that and i would connect those dots with a straight ruler then waist to length this time i would use 49 inches because i want a bit of train at the back just a bit then i would connect it with a straight ruler then on my waistline i'll mark my waist divided by four plus one inch then on the hip line i would mark my 11 inch plus the 0 0.5 Then I would be marking 9.5 on the knee line. Then I'll also be marking 9.5 on the length line. Then I'll be connecting those line with a straight ruler. Next, I'll use my nipple to nipple measurement to create a dart of one inch, and the depth of that dart would be five point five. Then I'll go to the knee line. So I'll connect from my dart to the length of my skirt. So what you can do is to look for the middle of your knee line, look for the middle of your length line and connect it with a straight ruler then cut your pattern so this pattern does not include seam allowance so i added my seam allowance on the fabric so you can add your seam allowance on your pattern paper if you want So I'll be dividing my knee to my length into two, into two panels. That is my center front and my side front also into two panels. Good. Then I'll be separating my back into two also. If you're doing a mermaid skirt and you're not doing a six panel you don't have to cut that that so you can use this as it is you don't have to do this panel you just have to spread the sides and maybe the center back if you want so for me i'll be spreading my center back because i want my center back to be a v if you don't want your center back to be a v it's fine you can make it straight but i just want just that nice drama on my center back so that is why i spread my center back like this if you don't want to spread it you can make it straight which is totally fine
so i will be marking 29 inches for my center back panel the first panel then for my second panel i'll be marking 27 inches which was our normal length we have been using for all panels so you have to do these and also connect it with the 29 inches so that while you are sewing everything would match one will not be longer than one can you see that eye low effect you can it gave us for the pattern can you see that eye low effect that is the eye low effect i want for the back so right now i'll just be cutting all my pieces and the same thing i did for my center back i will do for my side back and guys it's so so easy it's so easy it will be perfect for you to use lining for this skirt so that it can have this heavy look and full look and guys if you have any question please write it on the comment section i'll be so so happy to hear from you and if you learned something please let me know in the comment section if you learned something or if something is not really clear please let me know in the comment section thank you so much So guys that is it with this mermaid six panel pattern it's very easy just take your time and you get it one thing about this pattern is that you have to spread as much as you want it depends on the occasion it depends on the person you'd spread as much as you want if it's a bride obviously you can do 8 to 10 to 12 obviously it's a day but if it's an occasion if it's something you know just a casual or something very formal you can do six to eight that would be fine and next i'll be doing the waistband the first thing i did was to draw a perpendicular line then i insert my waist circumference divided by two and i added seam allowance which is one inch and i added two inch for two inches for waistband depth plus half an inch seam allowance so what I was going to be doing is to cut the top on fold and cut the center on fold. Then also, I didn't add this on the pattern. I will be adding 2 inches waistband extension. That is going to be for my button and my buttonhole. So our waistband is done and ready to be cut thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial thank you so much if you learned something don't forget to write it in the comment section and if something you are not clear about if you want to ask any question i'm here in the comment section i'll answer you swiftly and i'll answer you i'm always here thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next tutorial that i'll be sewing this beautiful mermaid skirt